good morning friends today we will see a live demonstration of central venous catheterization otherwise called central line which vein we are using we are using three vein we can use internal jugular vein we can use subclavian vein and we can also use femoral vein each vein has its merits or demerits as prior to any procedure we have to take consent from patient or their relative and before taking consent we have to tell them about indication its contraindication and complications complications may be pneumothorax as we know subclavian vein is near to apex of pleura hemothorax hematoma if you puncture artery air embolism and sometime arrhythmia because tip of catheter or guide wire can touch myocardium which can lead to arrhythmia before going to procedure we have to understand surface anatomy of subclavian vein so come and let's see surface anatomy of subclavian vein we will keep a finger of our non dominant hand in suprasternal notch and we will trace clavicle and here is the clavicle end so we will divide into three parts this is medial one third middle one third so this is medial one third middle one third and that is lateral one third of clavicle so middle two third lateral one third we will keep one point and one centimeter below this point this is our central line insertion site there is another method there is imaginary triangle and lateral border of triangle is made by deltoid and medial border is made by pectoralis major and base is formed by this is clavicle take point on apex of triangle and 1 cm below this point is our cbp line insertion site now we will keep one finger in suprasternal notch and thumb on insertion site of our central line and we will take needle and we will insert at 30 degree angle and just after insertion we have to go towards our finger which is kept on suprasternal notch and once we will hit clavicle we have to press by thumb and keep direction towards suprasternal notch we have to go parallel only otherwise we will create pneumothorax so this is about surface anatomy and insertion site this is our central line which is 8 french used in adult and it has four ports these are the things there in central line kit this is 5 ml syringe filled with 1 ml of heparinized solution and this is 18 gauge needle it has two ports one side port one main port by one main port we will attach syringe and by by side port we will insert guide wire this is guide wire it has j shaped tip which will prevent injury of blood vessels while going inside this is four lumen central line and you can see this is four lumen green yellow blue and white all lumens are marked length and flow rate is written on this central line so this is yellow port and this connected to distal port this is distal port so it has four port distal one two three and four these are the cap we will screw it after insertion of central line and this is dilator so after putting uh, guide wire we will dilate lumen by this dilator prior to insertion of central line we have to remove air and to check patency by heparin solution to all ports we have to keep patient in slight tendalenburg position to keep central vein prominent we have to keep 
that arm in neutral position that in adducted position pulled slight downwards sometime we can keep one ns bottle beneath the shoulder in which side we are inserting central line we have to sterilize the area of central line insertion with split and providon iodine we have to use all barrier methods to prevent catheter related blood stream infection like gown cap mask gloves etc after preparation we will give 3 to 5 ml 1% jalocaine in central line site in a fanning manner then we will take 18 gauze needle which comes in central line kit our insertion site is medial 2/3 and lateral 1/3 we will insert needle at the degree 30 degree angle and once we will hit clavicle we have to press by thumb and we have to take negative section and go inside parallelly now blood come once blood will come we have to keep bevel downwards now we will insert guide wire by side port we have to push gently guide wire we should not force otherwise it will damage artery or vein now we will take out needle gently but take care we should not remove guide wire now this is dilator and we will insert dilator over the guide wire and we will dilate our entry site by pushing inside in rotation rotatory fashion we will keep one gauze piece here otherwise it will bleed so after that we will insert our central line over this guide wire once we will go near entry side we will remove guide wire till it comes out of the yellow port because yellow port is distal end once it will come out we will insert our central line inside and after insertion of central line we will remove guide wire after removing guide wire we will lock it yes we will lock it central line so blood should not come after that we will check all ports by heparinized solution see yellow port see blood is coming so this is functional we will check one by one all ports by the solution so this is white one now you can see this is blood is coming we will push heparinized solution to keep central line patent now we will fix this cap to each port of central line so this is same cap it which can be fit in any of port after that we will keep cap of butterfly to central line now we will suture but before suturing we have to check all ports patency so this is how we are suturing it so after suture we have to stick one plaster so this is ready made plaster coming in market called taka drum so we will stick this taka drum to our central line so outer ring of this paper we have to remove to stick this taka drum to skin and it has small piece of paper on which we can write the date of central line insertion so you can see this is small piece of paper for writing a date now our procedure is completed we have to do chest x ray after procedure to see position of central line and also to see complications like pneumothorax so friends this was easy and simple procedure every icu resident should know this procedure hope you liked this video and if you like this video please tell me in writing comment box please share with your friends and if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe for new videos meet you soon with new video thank you thank you very much